thank God once again for tonight. I believe God has a special message for you tonight. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be glad in Him. I want you to get yourself ready. Prepare your heart. Prepare your mind. I want, your, I want the Spirit of the Lord to speak to you, to minister to you tonight. Because the Word of God is life and spirit. And the Spirit is why we minister to you. We minister to your need. I may not know what you are going through right now. I may not have a clue of what the challenges you are encountering right now. But what I do know is that the, the Word of God has power to minister to you at the point of your need. Open your heart because He sent His Word. He healed them. And the same way, delivered them from all their trouble. Which means the word of God has the power to do impossible. Not just healing, not just blessing. The word of God has power to do everything. Only if you can believe. Only if you can believe. Only if you can believe, you will see the glory of God. Tonight, I want to continue the message I started from the beginning of the month. I said at the beginning of the month that six is a number of man. Which means in this six months, God has something special for you and I. I mean, God has something special for us. Man was created on the sixth day with a blessing. And in the sixth month, the angel was sent to Mary. And we know the whole story. How of this came for our Lord Jesus Christ. Which means in this month, you are not permitted to suffer loss. And you are not permitted to cry. You are not permitted to be defeated in this month. And you are not permitted to be afflicted because God will visit you. Don't worry, you may be thinking that we are past the middle of the month, it doesn't matter. It does not take God more than six days to create the heaven, to create the heaven and earth. <laughs> Two weeks is too much for God to intervene in your fear. Only if you can believe. Because with man, it might seem impossible. With man, it might seem no way. But with God, all things are possible. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. Jeremiah acknowledges that he said, Oh Lord God, you made the heaven and the earth by your great power, by your, by your mighty hand. Is there anything too hard for you? And in verse 27 of the same chapter, God answered him. He said, Behold, I'm the God of all flesh. It is anything too hard for me. And Jesus really echoed the same statement. He said, With man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. As I've said, early this month, that is your month of visitation. You must understand the rule of engagement because the Bible says, believe the Lord your God, you will be established. But when you believe his prophet, you, you will prosper. When you believe the prophecy, the prophetic word, you will reap the good of that prophecy. Prepare your heart, prepare your mind because in this six months, God will visit you. And in this six months, God will not just visit you. He will visit you with favor. God will 
visit you with favor in this six months. Don't think, don't try to figure it out how it's going to be. Remember the story of that man, that minister of finance in the land of Samaria. The Bible says that there was a famine in the land of Samaria. And the man who controls the, the finance said, uh, even if he tried to figure it out to see how can this thing be? How can this thing be? Sometimes that's how we miss it. The promise and blessing of God. Don't try to weigh the ability of God. God, uh, God has ability to do all things. All things. The man said, even though if God opens the window of heaven, can this thing be? That's how he miss it. And the prophet said, Thus says the Lord, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat thereof. And it came to pass. And the man of God has spoken. Don't try to figure it out. That uh, maybe, maybe no. Your part is obey, is to obey and believe. God's part is performance. That's why, that's why Mary said, there shall be a performance of those things told her by the Lord. Everything God has spoken concerning your life, God has the ability, God has power to make it happen. That's why you don't have to worry how it's going to happen. What you, what you have to do is to believe and look in unto Jesus who has promised the author and the finisher of, your, of our faith. In this month, God will visit you with favor. In this month, we have been talking about God visitation. And whenever God visits his people, there is always a sign, there is always a proof that they have received divine visitation. And this month, I want you to have at the back of your mind that God is about to visit you with favor. Because you, will, you, you must understand there are things money cannot buy, but favor can buy it. Favor is like a universal currency, carrying value anywhere. Favor is even a currency that can buy anything, anywhere, anytime. There are things money cannot buy. There are things position cannot buy. But favor can buy it. And this month, God will visit you with favor. And he will crown your effort with his goodness. This month. Because it's our month of visitation. It's our month of visitation. And in Psalm 102, verse, verse 13, it said, you, God will arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her as come. And the same statement is for you tonight. The same way, the same prophetic way is for you tonight. That God will arise and have mercy upon you. For the time to favor you has come. This is your set time. Because it's your month of elevation. It's your month of promotion. It's your month of dominion. It's your month of victory. It's your month of supernatural turnaround. It's your month of breakthrough. For God will arise and have mercy upon you. For the time to favor you has come. This is your month. The time for God to favor you has come. You are in line for God's favor. You are in line for God's glory. You are in line for a testimony. And God will fill, will fill your mouth with a song of praise. Because God will visit you with favor. This month, God will definitely visit you with favor. Let's go to Psalm 102. Psalm 102. I will just read one, one verse. I will, I will read about five verses there. We, and we move on. Psalm 102. I will read from verse 13. Psalm number 102. I will read from verse 13. I will read from verse 13. He said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. 
And I want to put your name there. Because in this month of visitation, God will arise and have mercy upon you. And I want to put your name there and, and, and read after me that God will arise and have mercy upon me for the time to favor me as come. He said, yes, the set time. Remember, someone said there's a time and season for everything. That's why I said last time that we must be like a child of, 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 of um, Rehabite. Rehabite. They understood time and season. And you must understand that it's your time and it's your season to flourish. We are coming to this age whereby we must be like a child of Rehabite. They understood time and season. And I want you to understand that it is your time to move to the next level. It's your time to go forward. It's your time to possess your possession. It's your time to dominate. It's your time to take territory. It's your time to break a new ground. Because this is your set time. This is your set time. Time in the God agenda, in the God calendar, it is your set time. Say, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon my life. For the time to favor me has come. The set time is come. You must seize the moment, seize the opportunity. While whenever you are praying, pray to God because seize. Is a number of man. Number six is a number of man. And if you read through the, the whole the, the whole uh, the whole scripture, you will see it's talking about six, six days. Moses and um, Moses and Joshua, they were they were on the mount for six days before the glory of God appeared. Jesus thought about six water pot. After the, after the manner of purify. Six. I would say on the sixth, in the sixth month, the angel was sent from God to the city of Galilee. Six. Six. God commanded the children of Israel to walk around Jericho once in a day for six days. It's your time. It's your set time to do what you could not do before. It's your set time to break every barrier. It's, it's, it's your set time to break every invisible barrier. It's your set time to say to that situation that enough is enough. It's your set time to bring to an end every oppression of the wicked. It's your set time to exercise sentence against the evil work of the enemy. It's your set time to say to that sickness, enough is enough. I'm not going to live my life on medication. Don't get comfortable with your situation. Because the Bible says, it is your set time. It's a set time for God to favor you. It's a set time for God to visit you and favor you. So for your, for your, the seven take pleasure in a stone and favor the door that you are. So the heartens are fear the name of the Lord. Because it's your set time to be favored. The, which means the, the, the favor of God will instill fear of God in you. And you will walk in the fear of the law. And when you walk in the fear of the law, he said, and the king of and, and all the king of the head, thy glory. And when the law said be the Zion, because when God visits you, he will not just leave you. When God visits you, he visits you with favor. And it will beat up your life, it will beat up your business, it will beat up your career, it will beat up your gift. And when he beat up your gift, and you shall appear in glory. And which means your life will shine. And people afar will be able to hear about, they will hear of you. And they will, people will come from afar. People will come from north and south, west, east. Because the glory of the Lord shall, shall be risen upon your life. When the glory of the Lord come upon you, when the favor of God is upon you, he said, because the glory of the Lord is upon you, he said, the Lord will beat up Zion. It will beat up you. And you will appear 
in his glory. And when you appear in God's glory, you can't be rejected. You can't be rejected. Remember the story of the children of Israel. Anytime the glory of the Lord appears in, in, in the tabernacle, they rejoice because they know that the glory of the Lord is the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the law, and if God be for you, who can be against you? What situation, what sickness, what circumstance can stand on your way? If God be for you, if God be for you, he said it's set time to be you for you to be faithful, and God will be you, and you will appear in His glory. Which means when you appear in His glory, He said He will regard the prayer of the dead necessity. And not despise their prayer. Which means when you appear in his glory, your prayer cannot be delayed anymore. Your prayer cannot be rejected. Your prayer will be accepted. For God will hasten his way to perform. Say, for I will hasten my way to perform. It is the glory of the Lord that will cause God to hasten his way to perform in your life. Brother and sister, this is your month. This is your month. Only if you can believe. Don't think about how it's going to happen. Don't think about how you are going to do it. Don't think, don't try to figure it out. You cannot. You can you, you, you can't figure it out because God used the foolishness of this world to confirm the wise, the best thing to confirm the mighty, so that no man take the glory. Only believe. He said, only believe and you shall see the glory of God. Only believe and you shall see the glory of God. And the glory of God shall be risen upon your life. The favor of God, that favor will cause men to bring unto you. Let's go to Answer chapter 11. Answer chapter 11. I will read verse 9. Verse 9. Answer chapter 11. Verse 9. Verse 9. He said, They shall not hurt nor destroy in my only mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, and the water cover the sea. That's why I said, When the favor of God came come upon your life, come upon your life, you there won't be any problem in your surrounding. And because the earth shall be full of the knowledge of God, the fear of God, the knowledge of God, the people you will get to know God through you, through your light, through the glory of God in your life, people will come to know God. They will come to know God. They will come to know God. That's why the Bible says in the last day, when the glory of the Lord come upon his people, it said the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established. And all nations shall flow into it. And when the glory of the Lord come upon your life, your life, your life will shine. Your life will shine because God will be your life. And your life will shine. It will appear in the glory. It will appear in his glory, in the glory of God. It will appear in the glory of God. And people afar will come to you because of the glory of God upon your life. Because of the glory of the Lord. Upon your life, and the favor of God will beat your life, and your life shall appear in His glory. And the favor of God will cause God to give regard to your prayer. The favor of God will cause you to possess your possession. This man is your man, is your man. God will visit you with favor. God will visit you with favor. He will definitely visit you with favor. Remember the story of. of, of of Joseph. When the God came upon Joseph, he became governor in the foreign land. That's why I said, not everything you can buy with money. Not everything you can buy with material thing. Because favor of God supersedes money. It supersedes any material object. The favor of God can buy, can get you anything, anywhere, anytime. Let's go to the Proverbs chapter 22. I will read verse 1. The book of Proverbs 22, I will read from verse 1. It says, A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And a loving favor 
Rather than silver and gold, you can see the value of the favor of God. The value God places upon his favor is beyond gold, is beyond silver. It's beyond gold, it's beyond silver. And when the glory of God is upon you, it doesn't matter the color of your skin, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter where you go, the faithful will always be. He will always be. He will always be. That's why this man, wherever, wherever you are going, have at the back of your mind that God will visit you with favor. With favor. With favor. With favor. With favor. That's, that's what made, made, made Joseph. Who, who he is. That's what made Joseph. Who he is in the land of Egypt. He became governor there. It's something ahead of. It's something impossible. But when favor of God is upon your life, impossible become possible. The mantle will become low. The favor of God will cover your mistake. We cover your past. The favor of God will open a new chapter in your life. The favor of God will remove everything you have done in the past. The favor of God will open a new pain in your life. That's why he said, remember and never deformity. Neither consider the two of, of old. It's the favor of God that will, that will not enable God to remember the former thing. So neither consider the two of old. He said, behold, I will do a new thing. And in the favor of God, I will make God do a new thing in your life. And this man, by that favor, God will do a new thing in your life. Before this month is over, you will testify. 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 You will testify. Because the favor of God will do the job. The favor of God will do the job. He will do the job. Joseph made, was made a governor in Egypt because the favor of God was upon his life. God will fill you with favor and you will arise and sign. When God fills you with favor, you will arise and sign. Let's go to the answer chapter 16. Answer chapter 16. I will read from verse 1. When favor goes upon your life, now you will not say, you will arise and sign. For the light has come and the glory of God is risen upon thee. And remember what he said. What he said. Remember what he said in, 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 in the book of um in the book of Psalm 102. He said, You will appear in glory. You will appear in glory. When God be in Zion, he will appear in glory. And now, because he appeared in glory, he will arise and sign. For the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Because the fear of God have done you, have done you, have done you. I've done the job. The fear of God is upon your life, and God has built your life. You appear in His glory, and that glory is risen upon you. The glory of God is risen upon you. See what is what's happened. It said, Behold, the darkness has covered the head, and the gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. Even when there's a trouble, or even when there's a famine, when there's a difficulty in the town, your case shall be different. Your case shall be different because the glory of the Lord is upon your life. The favor of God will, will cause his favor, cause the glory of the Lord to come upon your life. The favor of God will cause the, faith, the, faith, the glory of God to come upon your life. Because when you appear in God's glory, he said, God shall be this bit of Zion. It will be of your life. And you will appear in his glory. And he said, Arise and sign, for your light is come. It because, remember, in Psalm 102, verse 13, he said, This is your set time to be favored. It's your set time to be favored. That's why he said, Arise, sign, for the light has come, because it's your set time. It's your set time, because the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said, People can go through life, can go through life with pain, with difficulty. He said, Your case. Shall be different because the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you. The glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you. And when the glory of the Lord is seen upon your life, it will say, Destroy it not. It will say to COVID 19, Destroy it not. For, the, for there's a blessing in it. 
and we say to the virus, this that, that invisible enemy, that this hour, tough not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm, because the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon thee. See what's happened. When the glory of the Lord has been seen upon you, say, and Gentiles I come to their light. They will come to you. Gentiles I come. In this context, it's not talking about unbeliever. It's talking about people. People that, that, that they, don't really, they don't really know God. It, they will come to you because they have seen something about you. They have seen something unusual about you. Because remember the story of Isaac. The Bible says there's a family in the land. Everybody was running away. Isaac made an attempt to go down to Egypt. God said, don't go to Egypt. In the same year, he sowed in the land. In the same year, he repaired on the foe. And, and people began, began to, to, to get jealous. That's what's going to happen. When the glory of the Lord has come upon your life, people will come, we will become jealous of that glory. And he said, on four, he said, lift all their eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together. They come to thee. People will come to you. People you know and people you don't know, they will come to you. They will gather together. They will come to thee. Say, your sons I come from afar. Your sons I come from afar. And your daughters shall be north at the side. Then you will see and you flow together. And your hearts are fear. And be enlarged because the abundance of seas, talk about blessing, that's overwhelming blessing. Abundance of seas shall be converted unto thee. He talk about the sea. He talk about the abundant, pro, abundant of prosperity shall be converted unto thee. Because your son that come from afar will not come empty. Your daughter that come from afar will not come empty. People will come into your life with, uh, with gift. They will come to to you with gift from different nations, from different uh, different country, from different 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 language, they will come with a gift. That's why I said the sea, the sea, the sea, because the abundance of the seas have been converted unto thee. Then every everywhere people will from, from from north, from south, from west, from east, people will start bring unto you because God will cause men to bring unto your bosom. That's the favor of God. That's why I said favor can buy what money cannot buy. Favor can buy what position cannot buy. Favor can buy what education, education cannot buy. That's why this month, get ready for God's favor. Get ready for God's favor. He said, and the voice of, that, uh, of Gentiles shall come unto thee. He said, the multitude of the camel shall cover thee. And he talked he, he talk about, he talk about, about the workers. He talked about about the, uh, the fruit of your neighbor shall, shall be enlarged, increased. That's what David said, the law shall increase you more and more. And when that, when that glory come upon your life, when that favor come upon your life, God will increase you more and more. He will increase you more and more. And when you come down to, to verse 10, say, the son of stranger shall build up your world. The son of stranger, they will beat up thy war, and the kings are minister unto thee. King that don't relate to just anybody. Because the because of the glory of the Lord upon you. Said the king will minister unto you. What you supposed to do yourself? The glory of the, Lord, the, the favor of God will compel men to come and do it for you. Free of charge. Free of charge. That's that that the that the favor of God. That's the favor we are talking about. Favor. That's the favor we are talking about. And when God visits you this month, He will visit you with favor. He said, The son of strangers shall beat up thy wall. The people will work for you free of charge. What you have not labored for, what you have not labored for, what you have not struggled for, they will bring it to you. Because it's the, it's the, that, that's the word the favor does in the life of the children of God. He said, The king. So I minister unto thee. And if you know that king don't, don't, don't relate to just anybody. That's why he said, the gift, you wouldn't need the favor upon your life. You will not stand before the mere man. 
He will stand before you. And, and in, this, in this context, the evil the king will minister unto you. That's what's happened to Joseph in the land of Egypt. He said, God has made me father of Pharaoh. The slave boy became a father of Pharaoh. Think about it. Think about it. It's something impossible to man. But in God, in God's plan, in how God operates, <laughs> you cannot understand. That's why this month, when you are praying, pray for God, and God as you are feeding me, feed me with favor. So that you go out. When people see you, they begin to smile. You know that it's working. It's working. Because you cannot carry favor and your hand be empty. Your hand cannot be empty if you carry favor. When your life is empty or your hand is empty, it's an indication that your life is lack favor. When everything is not working, all what you need is favor. When your hand is empty, it's a, an indication that you lack favor. That's why he said, he said, the sun of strangers I beat on your wall. Nothing, not everything you should buy with your money. No. No. That, that's the rule of engagement. When favor of God is upon your life, he said the son of stranger, stranger, they are not your family. They are, they are not related to you by, by any means. He said they will beat up your wall. And the king shall minister unto thee. He said, in my heart I spoke thee, but in my favor I have had mercy upon thee. Because I have had mercy upon thee in my favor, I will cause stranger to do what you supposed to do. I will cause stranger to do what you supposed to do, to do it for you. And I will call the, the ruler, the king, to minister unto you. Remember the story of, 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 of Nehemiah. When you, when, you, when, you, when you was crying about the wall of Jerusalem, before he left the king palace, king order, order the men to supply everything he needed. That's faithful. Remember that Nehemiah was, was just a messenger in king's palace. But he prayed to God, that God let me find faithful in the sight of the king. And when he approached the king, king said, is it what you want? And king wrote a letter and it was stamped that everything Nehemiah wants, wanted, let it be given to him. Even, even, even as he was going, where he was going, king sent a letter and Nehemiah carried that letter to, to that country that wherever you get, when, when you get there, Give to them that this is a letter from the king so that they can give you support. That's what favor does. Brother and sister, in this month of visitation, you need God's favor. You need God's favor. You need God's favor. You have struggled for so long. It's time for you to enjoy the favor of God. You are you are you have toiled for so long. It's time for you to experience to enjoy favor. You have worked very hard, but nothing to sow for. But it is time for you to, to, to enjoy favor. When favor of God is, up, is, is at work in your life, it makes the journey of life easy. It makes the journey of life easy. That's why they say, the Bible says, the race is not because you can run faster. Not the battle because you are strong. Not the bread for the man of wisdom. It is God that so favor. It's God that have mercy upon people. You have you, you have you have you have done so many things, so many business, so many ways, so many ways. But at the end of the day, nothing to, to so for. It's time for you to enjoy favor. That's why he said, "The the son of stranger will beat on your wall. The stranger you don't know, he will beat on your wall. Wherever you go, people will be kind to you. That's what favor does. That's what favor does. Is therefore." Thy gates shall be open continually, which means there will be an overflow of God's blessing. God's blessing will be continually flowing, 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 flowing in your life. That's what favor does. 
They shall not be sold day and night. It's not going to be like because as a credit crunch, because as a COVID nineteen, because as a lockdown. Even in this lockdown, people, the people are still making money because all team working together for those who love God. All team working together for those that are operating under the favor of God. It doesn't matter what the economy is saying. It doesn't matter what the expert is saying. He, the Bible says, he said, your gay shall be open continually. They shall not be sold day or night. You will not know the difference between day and night. You will not know the difference between credit crunch or not crunch. You will not know the difference between winter and summer. Because everything will begin to flow. We 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 begin to flow. Because there shall be abundant of rain. God will open the floodgate of heaven and we and we cause it to rain, cause it to overflow, overflow, overflow. That's why Paul understood the mystery that he, that may my God shall supply all your need according to the riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Brother and sister, all what you need this man is favor of God. When God feeds you, He must feed you with favor, so that the son of stranger. We, we, we bid your wall. King will minister to you and your gain will continually open. You will not know the difference between credit crunch or not crunch. You don't know the difference between COVID-19 uh, uh, lockdown or not lockdown because everything will begin to, to go, everything, the line will begin to fall onto you in pleasant places. The line will begin to fall onto you in pleasant places. You saw your, say, the man, you said the Said that man may bring unto thee the forces of Gentile. God will compare men. The favor of God will compare men to help you. They don't have any choice. They, because they'll be driven by the favor of God. The, fo the force of favor, the force of favor is so powerful. Even you don't want to help the person. But the favor of God will compare you to do, to do so. The favor of God, you, 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 get, you, don't, you can't just. Tell why you are doing what you are doing. It's, you are not of yourself, but there's something is, is at work. You go, you travel to a place, before you get there, people are so you kind there, people are helping you. You think it's ordinary. It's not ordinary. It's not ordinary. It's God's favor. Because God has spoken that He will cause men to bring unto you. He said, and the king will minister to you. He said, nation and the kingdom. And uh, the, the, the nation and the kingdom that will not serve the Siberian. Even though that those, those, are, those that are planned to sabotage what you are doing, he said they will perish. Those that want to sabotage what you are doing, he said they will perish. The nation said, and that those nations have been wasted. Their efforts have been wasted. Who want who want to block the flow of his favor? Because when God arises, his enemy must be scattered. Because the favor of God is the presence of God. The favor of God is the glory of God. Uh, is the glory of God. And, and whenever His glory appears, whoever wants to stand on the way will be crossed. That's why the Bible says, He said, The nation that will not serve you, the nation that God has put in their heart to serve you, and they refuse, He said, They will be crossed and they will be wasted. They will be wasted. This moment we are praying, pray for God, for God's favor. Pray for God's favor. Pray for God's favor. Pray for God's favor. Pray for God's God favor. It's not him that, you, that, that will it. Not him that run there. It's God who is so favor. It's God who is so mercy. It's not about how you, how you can run faster. It's God that's so mercy. Let pray for God's favor. He said, the glory of the Lebanon shall come unto thee. And they will beautify the place of my sanctuary. I said, I will make a place of my feet glorious. It is the son also. He said, The son of them that afflict thee shall come and bend unto thee. And all they, all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at, at the sole of your feet. They shall call thee the city of God, the city of God, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. They will bow. Those that have afflicted thee for some time said, They will come and bow. Pray for God's favor. 
Pray for God's favor. Because when the favor of God is upon your life, you hear what the Bible says? It said, you will, you will operate in the flow of his blessing. The blessing begin to flow, begin to flow, begin to flow. That won't be, it won't stop. It will pass from your generation to another generation, to another generation, to another generation. The blessing will begin to flow. That is the, the same blessing that was upon Abraham. And that blessing affected the whole marriage. And when the favor of God is upon your life, say, a little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a great nation. Say, I, the Lord, will hasten in his time. In this month, when you are praying, pray for God's favor. Pray for God's favor. Because God will do what he has, he has promised that he will do. He will do what he has promised that he will do. Because the favor of God will cause your life to flourish. The favor of God will cause your life to flourish. And you will not suffer sin anymore. You will not suffer reproach anymore because the favor of God will cause the glory of the Lord to rest upon your life. And your life will never remain the same. Amen. Remember, when the favor of God is upon your life, is there a little one shall become a thousand. You will, you will work little, you will get more. And a, a small one, a strong nation, say, I the Lord will hasten his time. God bless you, God keep you. God causes his faith to stand upon you. God causes you to be faithful in this six months in Jesus' name. But I don't want to close this broadcast without giving you an opportunity to make Christ as the Lord of your life. For you to experience God's favor, for you to, have, to, to experience God's glory, you must be born again. The promises are for children. That's what Jesus said to the woman. He said, I cannot give the food that men for the children to the dog. Until you accept Christ, you cannot experience the full blessing of, of his word. You cannot enjoy his full blessing. Maybe you are in that category tonight. You know, you know, you know within yourself that Christ is a second, is a second priority. It's not a first priority. Maybe before, maybe before you are born again, but now you know that things not like as it, as it was before. Maybe you have left your first law and you want to say, Pastor, tonight, I think it's time for me to come back. With what is happening in, this, in the world today, I need to come back home. You can just say this prayer, simple prayer after me. Because with the heart, man believes unto salvation. With the mouth, confession is made. Until you confess it, it's not established. You can say this simple prayer after me. If you can say it with all your heart, with all your mind, I believe you are born again. Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. I am a sinner. My sin is ever before me. Only you have sinned against me. Tonight, I'm sorry. Forgive all my sin. Have mercy upon me. Tonight, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come and rule in my life so that my life will never be the same. So that I will, I will walk in righteousness and I will walk in holiness. If you have said that prayer, I believe that you are born again. But you don't stop there. The Bible says we should not forsake the ascendant of believer. That's how we grow. If you best in United, United Kingdom, you can join us in one of our services. Our church name is Beneficial Financial Christ Church. 28122823 Riley, London SE154 UA. If you need more information, feel free to send me a message. God bless you. The God of Abraham bless you and keep you. The God of Isaac prosper the work of your hand. The God of Jacob protect you. And the God of our Father, Abyss of Ackman, do his best for you. Go forward. Go forward. And enjoy the favor of God. Remain blessed until I see you on Friday.